Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, now let's take a look at part two of the TOEIC listening test. Let's take a look. Tip number one. Identify the question. Yes or no questions. A yes or no question can be answered with a simple yes or no. For example, did you attend the meeting yesterday? Yes, I did. Or, no, I didn't. WH questions. A WH question refers to a question that begins with one of six interrogatives. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. In the case of interrogative questions in TOEIC Part 2, you can predict the answers if you pay close attention to the first word of the question. Knowing which WH word is being used will also tell you if the answer is a thing, a place, a date, etc. Tag questions. Tag questions are questions wherein the question prompt is placed at the end of the sentence. For example, it must be your first company picnic, right? Or you watched my last video, didn't you? Negative questions. Negative questions are questions that use the negative form of a verb to ask a question. For example, haven't you made a reservation yet? Answer, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Suggestion or request questions. Suggestion questions are used when making a suggestion or giving advice. For example, why don't we take a five minute break? Request questions are used when asking someone to do something. For example, could you review the draft document for me today? Tip number two, understand the answer. There are three main types of TOEIC part two answers. There are direct answers that give direct answers to the question. There are indirect answers that indirectly imply the actual answer. And there are other types of answers that either counter question the original question, reply that the answerer does not know the answer, or provide irrelevant information to the question. Direct answers gives a direct answer to the question. For example, where is the key to the supply room? Answer, on my desk. Indirect answer answers the question, but in an indirect way. For example, where is the key to the supply room? I saw Mark use it this morning. And then other types of answers might ask a question back, or say, I don't know, or present information that is not directly relevant to the question. For example, where is the key to the supply room? Do we have a supply room in our company? Tip three, beware of indirect answers to yes or no questions. An indirect answer is when you answer a yes or no question without a yes or no answer. For example, question, did you have a good business trip? Answer, well, negotiations were tough, but in the end, our client signed the contract. Okay, now let's try answering some questions from part two. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement. Number seven. Where's the new fax machine? A. Next to the water fountain. B. I'll send a fax tomorrow. C. By Wednesday. The answer is A. Next to the water fountain. Note the interrogative where in this question. The correct answer will be a location. Be mindful of the distractor in B. Fax. The word fax is in the question, but this response is referring to a time. Tomorrow, not a location. Number eight. How well does Thomas play the violin? 
A. Sure, I really like it. B. Oh, he's a professional. C. I'll turn down the volume. The answer is B. Oh, he's a professional. Be mindful of the distractors in A and C. A would be a response to a yes or no question, such as, do you like playing the violin? C would be a response to a declarative sentence, such as, the music is too loud. Number nine. Martin, are you driving to the client meeting? A. Oh, would you like a ride? B. Nice to meet you too. C. I thought it went well. The correct answer is A. Oh, would you like a ride? This is an example of an indirect response to a yes or no question. The question, are you driving to the client meeting, could be answered with a simple, yes I am, or no I'm not. However, in this example, the question is answered with another question. Number 10. Mariko announced that she's retiring in April. A. How many did you count? B. I'm not tired at all. C. Right, she's been here 25 years. The correct answer is C. Right, she's been here 25 years. This example is not a question. It's a statement that elicits a response. Be mindful of identifying the difference between a question and a statement. Also, notice the distractor in B, tired. This word is misleading because the word retiring is in the statement. Okay, that's the end of part two. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope that was helpful for you. And uh, check back for part three of the TOEIC listening test. Okay? See you next time. Bye-bye.